to be captured. I could put it like, like way over here, but then I'd have to do one of these things. And people would be like, hey, Yukon, random question for you. Why do you talk out of the side of your mouth? And why do you lean back so far? And I'd be like, no reason. How was, uh, how was everybody's, we are on the, on the back half of the week. How's everybody's week going? Tell me what's new with you. Tell me what's new with you. Ah, no. F. <laughs> this game is not that serious. Oh, Amsterdam. Oh. One more hit. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> Bathing in my blood. <laughs> I have a, what is it even called anymore? I can't even remember what it's called, but it's a, uh, it can play cart, it can play car SNES cartridges and it also can play um roms and uh i've considered maybe doing some retro days some retro games i think some retro games would be really cool what did my playthrough take me like man i don't even know maybe like eight uh 18 hours something like that dude that amsterdam's the worst <laughs> uh oh on <I'm>... no <laughs> on splatoon is that what you're talking about mario kart boss fights would be lit wouldn't that be sick dude mario kart mario kart needs to i love don't get me wrong i love mario kart i love mario kart 8 deluxe i think it's a fantastic game but i think it's time that they step their game up a little bit silly it, the writing wasn't obviously like Oscar worthy, but it looked funny. I don't know. Like look at movies like um uh what was that one called? Uh with with um the guy from the office. He played like a he played like a spy, uh, a spy. Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Michael from the office, he played a spy. Uh, it's like get something. No, not Jim from the office, Michael. Get smart. Yeah, get smart. Stupid movie, terrible writing. Uh, like it was just dumb, but I still enjoyed it. Like it wasn't, it's like, I don't know, it, nothing, not everything has to be like this giant mass Oscar worthy masterpiece. Like it was stupid and some parts of the writing was horrible, but Bumble and I just watched it the other day and it, we enjoyed it. It was like, it was kind of like a, I don't know if you call it a guilty pleasure or whatever. Yeah. Get smart. It isn't freaking cilantro. Calm down. Are you one of those people who think cilantro tastes like soap? If so, I feel bad. Cilantro is one of, one of, uh, the greatest gifts to this world. I love cilantro. <laughs> that feels bad, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not saying this like ironically or to be a jerk. I actually feel bad for you. <laughs> cilantro is probably one of the best flavors, but yeah, there's, there's like a subset of people who for some reason cilantro tastes like soap. Sour beer is its only unique taste. <laughs> there's sweet, sour, bitter, savory, umami, sour beers. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how else you describe a, an IPA. Ah! 
Draw me a picture of your taste wheel. Like one of your French girls. <laughs> oh my gosh. No! No! <laughs> Get out of here! I have had moose head, yeah. Moose head's good. I need to take this lead. No! What did I just come back to? Is what did I just learn today? <laughs> that's the that's the secondary uh the secondary title. First title is what did I just come back to? Second title is what did I just learn? <laughs> what did I just learn today? <laughs> no! Hefeweizens? I'm not a huge fan. I'm not going to lie. And almost my entire streaming career. Straws or donuts being just really squished straws and women crushing uh watermelon with their thighs those two those two things have been a persistent conversation uh literally since i started streaming <laughs> the uh the arms race of graphics and stuff like that is it kind of gets old i'm kind of over it i think that's why i gravitate towards nintendo so much is because they've never been overly worried about that that's never been like their their focus their focus has always been how do we make this game fun i guess like more fun i don't know get yunked It's a goodish stream. That's a that's a pretty accurate description of my streams in general. Saved you. You just noticed my L ASMR uh, tags. Look, I'm not lying, right? This ain't no lie. Give me, give me one example of better visual and and auditory ASMR on Twitch. I'll wait. <laughs> one example. Oh, 
not gonna lie, I forgot I was still big. I'm not gonna lie, I was. I'm still big! Why am I still big? <laughs> Jeroon. Jeroon? Jeroon? Yo, what's going on, Nick? I'm really, really, really excited. Has your commission gotten any better? Or is it still... Oh, has it still been a struggle? Yikes. How did I miss that last shot? Nice teamwork. Look at teamwork makes the dream work. Say your name, Vita. <laughs> People are just getting wrecked. Um, makes gyro a lot more feasible on uh, Splatoon. So when you have gyro controls, basically your gyro controls are only, almost only, every once in a while, if I need to turn around quick, I'll I'll quick move my, my hands right, because it helps you turn a little bit quicker. But for the most part, it's like 90% vertical aim is done with gyro, and then the stick is still your your horizontal aim. Um, oh, I was gonna say, I swear he's right there. Um, the other thing is when you're using gyro in this game, you're barely moving. So let me like, like my arm, my hands are just barely moving. So it's not like a, it's not like a, a very, very, um, like large amount of turning, like, like, uh, Mario Kart tilt controls, right? Mario Kart tilt controls. I mean, you're like literally driving a car. That's tough. That, that, that will fatigue. Um, anybody playing that game for for that long um, and I think I think the motion helps you refine your your aim a little bit more than stick controls can too so I don't know that's just my opinion hopefully that helps exclusively going to be your your uh, your vertical aim now I will say this <laughs> do that double splat there I will say this so like if I use just stick hang on for everyone and I was gonna agree. <laughs> what are you two doing up there? Oh, what are you two doing up there? <laughs> hey, let's both stand next to each other in this tiny little box of death. Once, <laughs> but you'll learn quickly that it's just not worth it, especially for me. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Kyle. <laughs> I promise I didn't mean to give you the boot. I promise. You missed smooth jazz auditory ASMR NPR style with Yukon with bonus visual ASMR. Excuse me. Life in a nutshell. True. I mean, I can go back. We could put it to a popular vote. Cusco's howling right now. I don't really know why. We can go back. Did someone clip it? I'm sure. I'm sure. We can go back to uh, smooth jazz Splatoon hour. We have three minutes. So many clips. Uh, doesn't surprise me. <laughs> you know what's funny is this is gonna be a, the uh, the May the May clips um, the May clips video on YouTube is gonna be really interesting this month. <laughs> I expect you to be adorable. Oh, wait, you already met that uh, expectation. Oh, thank you.